Hey, this is Brian, and today we're going to give you a quick tutorial on how to create a basic squeeze page using Excite Pro. So uh, at this point in time, we're going to try to cram this all into 10 minutes, and we're going to assume some, we're going to make some basic assumptions that you already know how to use Excite Pro, that you have taken the tutorials, possibly the book tutorial as well as some video tutorials that come with the software, that you know how to create a web page using templates. Um, we're not going to talk about advanced things like slicing Photoshop layouts or anything like that, uh, but you know how to create a web page and publish it to your server. Um, and really, all you need to do is create a squeeze page that allows you to um, capture names and email addresses from somebody before they gain access to the rest of your content. If you're not really familiar with this concept, let me show you exactly what we're talking about here. If we go here and we go to this particular page here, we'll see that this is a front page for a ebook product by Preston Ely. I don't know if you can see him in this video or not, but we're going to put him on pause. So this is his page, and pretty much you can't really get much here, read about this, or gain information without putting your information in here. So you can put your name and email, and we could say uh, brian at bs.com, because people can make up fake emails if they want to, and there's no real way to stop them from doing that. But um, usually they put in their real one, and it allows them to take, once they do that, they are transferred to your main site. This is also known as the thank you page after they enter their information in here. So that is the general concept of a squeeze page. Basically it's all being the, the, the concept. Let's go ahead and figure out how exactly we can go ahead and get this set up. Um, I'm going to assume that probably you're going to use the number one industry leading software which is Aweber for collecting email addresses, organizing them into an email database. And we'll use this particular um, setup right here for our example. I actually have a few of these different things here that I use, but we're going to use this one since this is probably going to be the one you end up using. Um, I've already, for this, for this example, set up a, um, a test list. So you're going to hit Add New to create a new list, and you have to have a list to add your leads to when they enter them in on your squeeze page. So I've already created one. It's called I Am Rebel because what we are going to be doing is creating the squeeze page and the inside page for um, a website called Internet Marketing rebel.com and we're already using this particular list so what we need to do is we can go up here and we start looking for forms there it is web form and you can see I've already set up a web form as well it's called I am rebel squeeze if you don't have any here because you're making a new one you would just create a new one and it would take you to this dialog box right here where you can set this up um, I named it I am rebel squeeze and this is an inline form so an inline form means it's built into the web page and uh, they are allowed to enter their information in on the web page it's not any type of pop-up and that's gonna be the one you generally want right now it is set to here as your thank you page so they enter their information name email hit submit and this is the page that they go to obviously you're not gonna want them to go here forever because this is an Aweber thank you page you're gonna change this to whatever page you want them to end up at when uh, when they come to your your website so we'll go ahead and click next because I haven't, haven't we haven't published the page yet then we'll have to go back in and change that up uh, right here we have name and email I've added those two here you can always add more we could have phone if you wanted to and say add and then it'll say phone and then you send say add and it'll add it over to your list of things that are in the form we can take and remove that because really all we want is name and email for this example and we say save and it saves your web form now we're gonna go ahead real quick switch over to Excite Pro we're using version 2 for this example version 1 is pretty much the exact same thing and we're not gonna make anything really fancy just demonstrate the concepts here you can see over here we have two pages squeeze and inside squeeze is gonna be that main page the first page with the home page and once they enter their information they go to the inside page which is where they get the information so let's go click over to our design view and here we have our design view and we'll say let's see uh, we'll say center we'll say super awesome headline benefit list call to action and then we can just say web form goes here 
once again, we're not going to be making this aesthetically pleasing, which would take a few hours to create a form exactly pretty and how you, exactly how you want it. Just showing how to get the form in there and set this up properly. So here we are here. If you go to source, here is your source code for this. So we switch back and forth. Let's go over to our Aweber view. And here is our form again. Now to get it and insert it into our page, we say get HTML. And here is our two choices. We can use the JavaScript form, which is this, the small snippet, or this form right here, the HTML form. They both look exactly the same. You can just use customize things more with this. So if you want the boxes, the name and email boxes to be wider or skinnier, um, you can use this. If you just don't really care, you're looking to get things done quick like we are for this example, we'll just use this one. But you can't really customize it very much. So we copy that and then we switch back over to Excite Pro. Now, like we said, web form goes here. We just look for that in our code view. So we switch over to source and look for that and it says an LT, LT, LT web form goes here. And GT, 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 those are those little marks that we put. So let's go ahead and isolate that and then we'll paste right over it the code from Aweber and switch back over and see what it says. It says JavaScript. Okay, so it gives us a little JavaScript there saying, okay, something's inserted. Let's hit preview and see what happens. Super awesome headline, benefit list, call to action. There's our form. Now we're not going to go ahead and hit submit right now because we don't have an actual page where it's going to be going to. So now that we have the front page done, let's go to the inside page because you always have to have two. You have the main squeeze page and then the page where it goes to. And we'll say welcome inside our site. Read all our super stuff below. Then buy my product. So that'll be the page that they land on. And we'll go ahead and hit save. And now we can go ahead and say publish. And we'll go ahead and publish it to the internetmarketingrebel.com. And let's find our publish button. Are we sure we want to publish? Yes. All right, pause that there while it was doing its thing. It's uploaded, everything seems to be in order. So we'll say, okay. And we'll jump over here. And let's go ahead and take a look. www.theinternetmarketingrebel.com All right, and here we are. Let's go ahead and test it out. We'll say Brian. Brian at bs.com. Submit. And it takes us to the wrong page. Why does that? Because we didn't tell Aweber where to go. So let's switch back to Aweber. Go to our form. we got to tell it where to go. It's going to be, for this one, http colon www colon www.theinternetmarketingrebel.com slash inside.html next save Okay, so once we updated that setting and added the Aweber, um, the, the the actual landing page to Aweber, we go ahead and fill our information in and hit submit. And here is our confirmation page. Welcome inside our site. Read all our super stuff below. Then buy my product. So that is how you make a simple squeeze page. Obviously, adding all the content, the bells and whistles, and the look and feel is your job.